I am delighted to welcome all of those watching to the world premiere of the new Porsche Panamera. Our absolute all-rounder. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Porsche Panamera. It drives like a sports car while at the same time offering all the advantages of an exclusive saloon. That is what has always made this vehicle stand out from the rest. We have now taken the Panamera even further in terms of performance, comfort and design. Our goal is always to be the best in class, and in the area of sportiness in particular. The new Panamera Turbo S with 630 PS represents a significant leap in performance. For greater comfort, the chassis now has a new setup, among other things. This increases cornering stability, for example, and we have sharpened the design once more in very specific areas, with great effect. With the Panamera 4SE Hybrid, we are extending the model range with an additional powerful hybrid variant. At Porsche, we combine electric mobility with performance. That is what our customers expect. The battery is now much more powerful than in previous hybrid models. This allows us to achieve a significantly higher purely electric range, with an increase of up to 30%. By 2025, it is likely that every second Porsche will leave the production line with an electric or hybrid drive. And I am quite sure that this will include a large number of Panamera models. Thank you, Mr. Bluma, for these insights. What do you personally like most about the Panamera? First of all, I like the aesthetics of the vehicle, and then, of course, its versatility. And on longer journeys in particular, I really appreciate the comfort it offers. And there is its sportiness, naturally. The Panamera would not be a Porsche if it did not have such driving dynamics. And that is always something that we make particularly measurable at Porsche. Our test driver, Lars Kahn, recently drove the car at the Nürburgring and showed what the new Panamera is capable of. Wow, what an achievement, fantastic. Yes, congratulations to Lars Kern. That is really outstanding. But it also shows what the new Panamera is capable of. Best in class, that is the standard at Porsche. That's probably exactly what Porsche fans dream about, this driving experience. Yes, the driving experience and driving dynamics form a common bond for us Porsche drivers, and not just owners, but those who are perhaps dreaming of buying a Porsche in the future. Those hoping to fulfill their dream of owning and driving a sports car. And can the new Panamera fulfill this dream? Absolutely. The Panamera combines everyday usability with aesthetic design. It embodies the sportiness, but also the pioneering spirit. When we entered this segment around 10 years ago, it was a very courageous step for us. We did not invent the sports saloon, but we made a Porsche out of it. Particularly important for us was the fact that we were able to reach new customer groups and also open up new markets, such as China. The Panamera is very popular in China. What does that mean exactly? China is now our largest single market. The start of this year was particularly affected by the coronavirus crisis. The market is now recovering and we can say that Porsche is now almost back at the level of the previous year again. 
Thank you, Mr. Bluma, for now. Timo Bernhard will now show us how it is possible to get the maximum amount of sportiness out of the Panamera. He has already been out on a test drive. I'm having great fun here on Porsche's own racetrack in Leipzig. This is also where the Panamera is built. I'm sitting in the brand new Porsche Panamera Turbo S, breaking into the first chicane on the start-finish straight. And I can already feel how precisely the car steers and how it follows my steering input exactly. It really is great fun. The new Panamera Turbo S achieves the perfect balancing act between an exclusive saloon and a sports car. The fact that the new Panamera feels so at home on the racetrack is due above all to the optimized chassis systems. When I brake here, you can feel how stable the vehicle is, and yet it still steers incredibly well into the bend. The newly applied adaptive shock absorbers, the roll stabilization system, and the three-chamber air suspension system make the car even more precise when turning in, and it's noticeable. It really is fantastic. They want me to come into the pits now, but I think I'll drive another two or three laps. Welcome to the studio, Timo. Seems like you had a lot of fun. Yes, it was a fantastic experience. It was great fun to drive the new Panamera Turbo S, and I can still feel the adrenaline rush. Among others, that is the fault of Thomas Frimuth, vice president for the Panamera product line. Yes, I'm very happy to take the blame. In the end, it is the perfect interplay of all the vehicle's components and systems that make up the characteristics of the Panamera. And in terms of the performance that you experienced, we have enhanced the chassis systems and optimized all the control systems in the vehicle. We also have new tires, new steering, and much more powerful drive systems in some cases. Yeah, and all that in really great packaging. Yes, you're right about the packaging. We developed a completely new front section for the Turbo S. And all the other models will have the sport design front end in the future. There are also new wheels and new colors, and I am particularly proud of our new rear end. We have designed the taillight cluster so that it has a much more pronounced 3D look. And we have also succeeded in achieving continuous illumination of the light strip. Let's move on to another topic. Because hybrid is not a compromise at Porsche, we use the electric motor for maximum efficiency and range, but it's still a performance tool. I myself enjoyed numerous successes in motorsports during the 919 hybrid program, both in the World Championship and also at Le Mans, and I'm a great fan of this technology. The new Panamera and Cayenne models have also been designed with e-performance in mind. Is that a strategy that Porsche will continue with in the future? Absolutely. We are convinced that our e-performance strategy is the right one and continue to put our faith in plug-in hybrids. For example, there is now the new Panamera 4SE hybrid in which we have put together a new driveline. From the 2.9-liter V6 bi-turbo engine and the electric motor, we now achieve a system output of 560 PS and a maximum torque of 750 Newton meters. And what about the range? Yes, the range. We are also using a new high-voltage battery in the new Panamera, now with a capacity of 17.9 kilowatt-hours. This means that we are able to increase the range by up to 30% compared with the previous Panamera model. And we have also further optimized the driving modes. After all, the goal is to further improve and enhance the electric driving experience. I also noticed something else in Leipzig. I think I was holding a new steering wheel in my hands. Is that true? Yes, that's right. Together with the new steering, we are also introducing a new steering wheel generation in the Panamera, which I think is attractively integrated in the overall interior design. We also have a new sport chrono clock for customers who want to enhance and personalize their vehicle further. This new analog clock comes from Porsche Design. A matching chronograph for the wrist is also available from Porsche Design. Overall, there is a new interior. We have modernized all the displays. We have new displays, new display contents, and new functions. The online connectivity of the new Panamera has also been significantly improved. As you can tell, I really am impressed by the new Panamera. Many thanks to the experts. Sports car, premium saloon, hybrid pioneer, it's another strong performance by the Panamera, Mr. Bluma. Yes, there is no doubt about that. The Panamera is now even smarter, even more exclusive, and even sportier. The Panamera has always been successful due to its unique positioning in the segment. The Panamera is the sports car among saloons. And it is particularly important for us to always reinvent ourselves, to follow new paths. Porsche has always remained Porsche only because it has always changed. Thanks a lot, Oliver Blume. 
That was the world premiere of the new Porsche Panamera. For those wanting to find out more, we have prepared four clips with details about the drive, chassis, e-performance and design. Have fun and see you soon.